What do you get when you combine three generations of a farming family on a 600 acre family farm, 18 million pounds a year of potatoes, a million dollars worth of machinery and several satellites? The answer, lots of flavor on Food Country. Prince Edward Island is a million acre farm. Many crops grow in our rich red soil, including the finest potatoes in the world. At Lily Pond Farms, three generations of farmers. Kevin McIsaac, his daughter Erica, and his dad Joseph harvest enough to put mashed potatoes on every table in Canada. This immense warehouse is going to get filled with potatoes. In fact, behind me, this huge pile is, is actually only half a day's worth. That's 10 loads of potatoes. By the end of the day, that pile will be twice as big. In a few days, this thing will start to fill up. 300 loads of potatoes will fill this warehouse. Our potatoes may be the best in the world, but they're still a commodity, which means to stay competitive in the global marketplace, our farmers take advantage of every technology available. In the old days, we dug by hand and filled baskets. Today, Blair McIsaac's harvester digs seven rows at once, filling a truck in minutes. And I guess one of the things that's important about this machinery, it's, it's not just how much work it can do, it's how gentle it can do that work as well. I mean, we're That's talking right. potatoes here. We don't want to break them or exactly. knock them around, batter them too much. Yeah, exactly, or we'll get bruising. And this is another advantage to dig in as many drills at one time as possible. If you keep your machine full, it gives you no room for the potatoes to roll back and bruise. I see. So they're all snug all the, all the time going through the machine, so they, you get less bruising. They protect each other That's through right. the process. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. hugging. Yeah, <laughs> look at those potatoes hugging away here. <laughs> so the truck is back to the farm now, so we're, we're at what we call our collector. So the truck is backed in and we're going to eliminate all the things that shouldn't be in the potatoes, or most of them, before they enter our storage. So we're, we've got a machine that we have people that will pick off, but it also mechanically eliminates dirt and rock, and then we'll size out the smaller potatoes that are not of any value to us. Sure. So this whole system is, is based on that. It's all about sorting these potatoes exactly. out, getting ready to store them exactly. for the winter. Prince Edward Island is known for the quality of its potatoes, but not so much for the quality of our rocks. This is a very important step. This is where we get rid of the rocks and keep the potatoes. You know, as I, as I look at this pile of potatoes, it seems like just this inconceivable amount of potatoes. And then, and then you realize that really, this is just a half a day's digging and this entire barn has to be filled. And not only that, you're not gonna sell these potatoes for another nine months. So really what we're looking at here is a, a gigantic investment, an entire year of your life in this pile. Yeah, it's a huge, it's a huge investment. It's, it's our living, it's, it's our life. The life of these potatoes is our life. So this is a risk as well. It's a huge risk. The risk that, that they're going to be in tip-top condition nine months from now. Yeah. To reduce that risk, Kevin depends on state-of-the-art technology. This isn't just a barn, it's a high-tech storage facility. Potatoes will stay fresh for months in the right environment. Uh, and then of course when we're, when we're storing, uh, our ventilation systems are controlled by the computer. Uh, it, it determines how much oxygen comes into the, into the pile and the speed at which the fans go and then to reduce the amount of electricity we're using it, it variable speed reduces down. We have a modem that uh, is connected to my, my uh, laptop computer in my house and my brother has a laptop in his house or a computer that he can dial into the system and we can see what, what the readings are at all times. But the barn isn't the only thing computerized around here. 
GPS systems really help us on the farm. Um, we know that our rows are going to be perfectly straight uh, because the GPS does all the work for you. Um, if you wanted to, you could even read a book while you're driving because you don't even have to use your hands to steer. So there's a lot of pretty cool things you can do with GPS and satellites and all that fun stuff. Eric is even helping to test a new iPhone app for potato farmers. Gentlemen, Blair, Kevin, thanks so much for everything that you're doing to grow and harvest the best potatoes in the world, really. It's my pleasure now to take them and do my job. Off to work I go. Thanks guys. I've got some potato bacon and cheddar tart for these guys. They're the guys that work the hardest in the whole potato loop. Not me, so I gotta share this. <laughs>